begin with campaign 2020 and the first two of two Democratic presidential debates in Miami is now in the books. Ten candidates squaring off last night at the Adrian Arsh Center. The candidates took on a wide range of issues from immigration to the economy to President Trump in the debate moderated by NBC News. And tonight's South Florida will once again be the spotlight as ten more candidates prepare to hit the stage. CBS 4's Laura Podesta is live in downtown Miami with more. Laura, good morning. Good morning, Lauren and Mary Bell. Well, these 10 candidates knew they had just one minute to make their point, so they really went all out. And there were two standouts, former Housing Secretary Julian Castro and Senator Cory Booker. Part of this. I'm talking about a comprehensive rewrite of our immigration That's laws. I think that you should do your homework. We're going to make sure issue. that they're... For two hours. Health care is a basic human right, and I will fight for basic human rights. Ten Democratic presidential candidates went toe-to-toe -to -toe during an NBC News debate on issues like health care. I am just simply concerned about kicking uh, half of America off of their health insurance in four years. Afghanistan. You have to stay in engaged in these situations. As a soldier, I will tell you, that answer is unacceptable. We have to bring our troops home. They also talked about immigration, making their case both in English. I would sign an executive order that would get rid of Trump's zero tolerance policy. And in Spanish, hoping to court Latino voters. La situación ahora es inaceptable. When people come to their, this country, they do not leave their human rights at the border. The debate last night took place here in Florida, a key battleground state and where President Trump kicked off his reelection campaign a week and a half ago. Well, the president tweeted the debate was was boring. The biggest threat to the security of the United States is Donald Trump. Democrats on stage took him to task. I don't think All we right. should conduct foreign policy in our bathrobe at five Congress. in the morning. Some publicly stated their views on whether impeachment proceedings should begin. We must begin impeachment now. This is not the number one issue the American people ask us about. The candidates were largely focused on each other and their party. This Democratic Party has to be strong and bold and progressive. Ten more Democrats Democratic contenders will take the stage in Miami tonight. And at tonight's debate, we will be hearing from the perennial frontrunners Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders, who have been leading in the early polls. Back to you, Lauren and Mary Bell. Laura Podesta, live for us in Miami. Thank you. And keep it right here. Our coverage of last night's debate is far from over. Coming up at 6.30, Facing South Florida host Jim Tafiti will break down last night's debate, find out who Jim thought helped and hurt themselves, and what happened during night one that he thought was fascinating. Stay with CBS 4 News and CBSMiami.com for continuing coverage of the Democratic presidential debates. As you heard, the second group of 10 square off tonight, and of course, we'll be there with live coverage all day.